How you doing guys? My name is Orlando. We're going to be doing this row. We're going to seal it all up. I'm going to start blowing first. And then after we blow, I'm going to do the trim. guys I already did the I blew the dry away it's all nice and blown now I'm gonna use some crack filler that I got at Home Depot to put in some of these cracks as you can see here this dry away is not in such bad condition but we want to keep it like that so anytime we see little cracks in there we try to fill them in as soon as possible and then after that we're gonna do our next step which will be start trimming the sides but I'm gonna get these cracks first and let us um, dry up it's a hot day it's gonna dry up real fast all right here I was if you zoom in and pay attention here I came in and I got some of the, the cracks that were here and I'm coming around and catching some little holes and stuff and the reason why I'm doing this is because that's where it opens up the rain starts going in and it opens up and it turns up your driveway and that's when you start having the flake in the little rocks and you wind up with the hole. You come over here and you zoom in. Here I got a few spots that were little cracks. And remember, this driveway is not that bad because it's not that old. We're just trying to keep up with it. Now, if you come over here, I'll show you the beginning of the, of the paint. You see that? Yeah. That's a big no-no. So that's where you have to go in you see it a little bit drying out, cracking a little bit. You go in there and you give it a little maintenance so that doesn't continue opening up. Water goes in, driveway starts falling apart, okay? That's what we're gonna do. And the next step, we're gonna start trimming. Right. Just so they crack, if you look carefully, the crack that was kind of a little open and we just went in there we put some crack filler rub it in with the stick and as you can see now it just creates that barrier there and if you come over here you might have these things in your driveway whenever you see these little holes you see this that's a little hole there all you have to do is pull it in a little bit rub it in there and this will prevent, believe it or not, the water seeping in. Because that's what is deadly for these type of asphalt driveways. Remember, this is rock compressed. And when they start falling off and whatever and popping off, the driveway loses its strength and the water goes in. And it's a little tedious, you know, but you go in here, you do these little holes. That's why you shouldn't wait too long because that's how you can keep up with the driveway. Okay? All right, we're gonna go ahead and start trimming now. Okay guys, here we are. I'm gonna open up the car. I got this one at Home Depot. It's like 21, $22. I got one of the most affordable ones, which is only four years, which is, I think, more, more than reasonable. A lot of these products, they say eight, 10 years or whatever. I kind of, I'm a little hesitant because 10 years is a long time. And even when you get it professionally sprayed, it doesn't last that long. You gotta do these things every few years anyway. So I'm thinking four years makes sense. I'm gonna go ahead and open it. And then I'm going to start trimming. Once we start trimming, I'm going to do the whole perimeter of the driveway. And then we open this up. I got a brush. I'm going to brush it in. And then once I brush it in, then I'm going to start with the squeezing on the surface. Should have had this open already for you guys sorry about that but that will help you open up the the bucket too just in case you guys haven't opened one of these up okay 
today. Go around. And here you have it. Okay, so I'm gonna get my brush. A bit earlier and I'm gonna go in here remember we blew the dry wave I'm gonna go in there with the brush I'm not gonna be cheap around the trim area because believe it or not the trim area gets a lot of beating due to the, the edging when the landscaper comes and they start weed eating away, they're not really thinking about the dry way. They're thinking about cutting, getting out as quick as they can, so the dry way gets hit a lot. Okay? So I'm gonna start trimming this. I'm not gonna bore you with this, guys. And then we're gonna come back a little bit later when we have this all trimmed up and ready to rock and roll with the floor, okay? Okay guys, we're done with the trim now. As you can see, we came all the way around the perimeter of the driveway. You might not be able to see it clearly on camera. Come through here. We got it all through. Where the rocks area, obviously I have rocks in some other areas, so I had to push the rock back. After we're done, I'll push the rocks forward again, okay? Now we're gonna go ahead and start painting. I bought a squeegee, as you can see, at Home Depot. This was like um, 11 bucks or so, if I'm not mistaken. Now I'm gonna come over here and pour stuff on the floor and start working. to the edge as much as I can. I'm going to continue doing that and work my way down. I'm going to show you in different phases where we are and then we're going to show you at the end of the, of the project the whole thing. Okay? Thank you guys. All right, we're wrapping it up here. As you can see guys, almost done. It's been a big project. It took a little longer than I thought, but I took a few breaks, including lunch. And I was with the kids for a while because I don't know if you guys know, I'm doing this during the big um, coronavirus epidemic. So I took advantage. So I'm home with the kids, so it took a little longer. But as you can see, we're spreading this out. Which is not hard to do. It just takes a little bit of time because you want to make sure you get all those spots. You spread it out. Go inside so it doesn't go out to the bottom of the driveway. little eleven dollar tool it's not too bad so I'm gonna wrap this up I already started brushing the outside perimeter 
if you notice. We're gonna wrap this up and come back in a few minutes. All right guys, four buckets, 2,000 square feet, a little shy of that. A squeegee, $20, $21 per container that I use here. And the squeegee was 13 bucks or 12 or whatever it was. So I think I did pretty good. All in, a hundred bucks. It took longer, like I said, than I thought, but it's okay. I didn't rush it either. I took my time, I took a lot of breaks. Messed around with the kids. So, overall guys, it wasn't too shabby. I'm gonna put this last word here. Get close to the street and car of the day. I hope this helped you a little bit. If I could do it, you could do it. I'm a rookie at this. This is not what I do. I have a regular job. And I just did this to save a couple bucks and do something around the house during this time now that everybody's just sitting around watching the news. All right. Hope everything is fine with everybody. I hope I helped you guys out a little bit. And hopefully um, this video will serve a purpose for somebody, okay? Thank you, bye.